Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining this webinar on sustainable energy and IoT by Plain Concepts and Microsoft. My name is Wendy Chin, and I'm the Partner Development Manager from Plain Concepts, and I'll be one of the presenters, as well as a Master of Ceremonies. Since many regions and countries have already stated that they want to become independent in energy, renewable energies are going to play an increasing part in their plans. So today we'll talk about some challenges and how technology, but more specifically, IoT plays a role in this transition. We'll show you some examples of real life dashboards and the information gathered from devices and share some of the metrics of a real case study. The name of the company is Acciona. And to finish the session, we'll also be showing more use cases of how IoT can be deployed in the sector. Today, I'm pleased to be joined by James Lockyer from, from Microsoft and a colleague from Plain Concepts, Eduardo Matayanas. So welcome, James and Eduardo. Please give us a quick introduction about yourselves. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, my name is James Lockyer. But I work within the Microsoft IoT partner ecosystem business, and I lead our sustainability sales motions for the partner business. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Wendy. I'm Eduardo Matayanas, Principal Engineer here in Plain Concepts. I have worked in many projects related with data, IoT, and AI in the energy sector. Thank you. I'm very happy to have you guys here. So let's talk, start talking about the energy sector. Renewable energy sector has been growing a lot in the last decades, and with it, the challenges of how to manage more assets and sources, which are quickly becoming more ubiquitous. More and more, we will see houses and buildings that we will build built with de facto solar panels, and an increase in electric cars is also going to change the landscape of how all these devices are managed. So predictive and intelligent management capabilities in real time are paramount to be able to enhance smart grids, predict what the resources will generate and reduce operation and maintenance cost. We'll see how IoT, machine learning, computer vision, big data, and AI are applied in use cases specifically for the, for the sector. Before we jump into the case study and future applications, I'd like James to tell us what Microsoft's vision, in, vision is in this sector and some of the challenges. Thank you, Wendy. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity to join you here today. When we look at our ability to support the renewable energy sector, the key questions that spring to mind are how can we help solve challenges within the industry what is the role technology can play to accelerate adoption, scale, and increase energy production to support the energy transition? More specifically, Microsoft and key partners such as yourselves are helping to improve the performance of assets such as wind turbines and solar panels and solar inverters through the usage of technologies such as IoT, AI, machine learning, digital twin. And with those technologies, we're able to monitor each asset in real time looking at multiple data elements from the turbine itself and what is happening with pitch of the turbine blades through to what is happening in, in the nacelle, such as things like generators, gearboxes, uh, pressure, et cetera. Um, and then being able to understand the behaviors of those specific pieces of machinery. So data can, can also then inform elements such as wind power curves that can help to indicate how much power a wind turbine should produce at any given wind speed. So having access to this, this real-time data supports operations, maintenance, asset management, and analysis. And this is enabling our energy customers to make decisions that ultimately improves operations and minimizes risks to energy production. It really is an exciting space where we have an opportunity to support how the industry evolves. For example, with new types of renewable energy production coming from areas such as floating wind, we're seeing aspects such as uh, new real-time data sets and data science models that can be used to help better understand the impacts of waves or, or, what, or what's known as wake modeling in terms of that platform bouncing up and down on the, on the waves or, and, and looking at that wake modeling in terms of the impact that it has on energy production, as well as also looking at areas like ballast for that floating platform itself and, and other areas like impacts that cabling to the sea floor can have on that floating turbine platform performance and therefore, therefore improve those energy efficiencies. So IoT and edge computing is key um, to accessing that data. So technology is, is really is also really helping uh, kind of prior 
to site operation too, in terms of assessing and understanding the impact that future wind and solar farms may have on the environment. Um, for example, through using edge-enabled computer vision to detect endangered wildlife. So fundamentally, we are talking about improving renewable asset performance and availability, and therefore ensuring max energy production. This has added benefits such as improving uh, efficiency of resources, um, reducing site visits, which in turn reduces costs. So when you combine all of these outcomes for the energy companies together, it also helps them to differentiate from the com competition and grow revenues. Thank you very much, James. Before diving into the case study, let's talk a bit about the implications of data, IoT, and AI in this sector. As you know, there are three types of energy that interest us, hydro, wind, and solar energy. The challenges of managing and getting insights into your total energy resources are difficult because each energy resource is harnessed using very different methods. Turbines in hydropower and windmills come with sensors integrated, but they're not very easy to repair. On the other hand, solar panels typically don't come with sensors, so you can't analyze down to the cell level. To be able to gather information on the radiant energy, panels have to be monitored by groups or with special cameras. One of the most difficult challenges that renewable energy resources has is, is trying to predict the amount of energy that they can supply in the market in the auction. Having all the right data is critical in forecasting production. This is why having IoT data stream into your dashboard on a real-time basis is critical. Manipulating data manually doesn't provide the level of time of information an energy company needs when market prices constantly fluctuate. So underestimating production, an energy company essentially leaves harnessed energy unused, while overestimating has huge consequences because of high penalties when they can't deliver. So the difference between hypothetical and real product production has a direct impact on the bottom line. Um, this is why having a, a supervisory, supervisory control and data acquisition system, uh, most commonly known as SCADA, or command center, is a must. Now let's talk about Acciona. To give you a bit more context, let me tell you more about the company. Acciona is a global company that develops and manages sustainable infrastructure solutions. They invest in many types of projects, uh, energy, transportation, water, social, um, real estate, and much more. So they really provide basic needs to the communities that they supply to. Um, they have presence in more than 40 countries and employ over 42,000 people over the world and have revenues over 8 billion euros. They're committed to the United Nations Sustainability Development Goals in clean water and sanitation, sustainable cities and communities, affordable and clean energy, and climate action. They have nearly 14,000 megawatts of capa capacity installed. The energy has been ranked first in Energy Intelligence Top 100 Green Utilities Index since 2015. So that's seven years in a row, quite impressive. Acción is the greenest power utility in the world, so definitely an example to be followed. They have prevented the emission of over 13 million tons of CO2. Acción has been a customer of Plain Concepts from Plain's very beginnings. So, you know, what was Acción's situation before starting the project um, that we have at hand? So, the initial situation was each wind or solar farm had their own data, and it wasn't integrated. There was lots of siloed data, which couldn't be exploited in real time, so de decision-making was pretty limited. The goal was to build a highly scalable and secure system capable of managing all the data in real time from all types of energy uh, sources. This system monitors over 42,000 variables and has 48,000 alarms to warm up potential problems. This is no small task. In this slide, we can see, in a glance, the renewable energy sources that are integrated in the system and their location. In addition, we can see the current production, both daily and weekly, plus the type of energy that is contributing to the current production. Also, the customer can see the total number of nominal power and number of generators. And at the right side of the panel is a breakdown of each country and the name of each power plant. 
By clicking on each power plant, we can drill down for even further information. We also built different aggregated views for the client, like the one we see here. This view is the total number of power plants per country, per location, along with the capacity being generated per type. In addition, we can also see the real and forecasted production aggregated to all the generators. This is important to plan the energy being sold during the day and is designed to give alerts if something isn't going according to plan. Finally, in the top right, we can see the different energy sources and their total generated power at each point in time. The tool also enables us to monitor any of the variables that compose the plant. Some of the variables from the IoT devices are sent directly to Azure to create this control system. Here are just a few of the variables measured. Temperature, speed, pressure, radiance. But more importantly, it gives us information of the generated power, its nominal power, the orientation of the wind turbine, and uh, all the historical information about the energy production. The sister is bidirectional, so we can send commands from the control center to the wind turbine. For example, if the wind is too strong, uh, we can intervene and stop it without, uh, without going on site. In addition, the tool we built can also give a whole view of all the power sources and see what each power generating power generator is producing. In this particular case, we're seeing Acciona's solar energy power plant. Power is monitored per inverter, and we can also see different arrays connected to each one. The total amount of power can be seen on the graph on the left-hand side. We can see which generators are producing less power and try to analyze and, and find the reason. Here we can monitor the environmental conditions related to the power plant. In this slide, we can see the levels of solar irradiance, temperature, or atmospheric pressure. As you may know, solar technology is able to transform components of the irradi irradiance direct or diffused. With this information, we can track the current level of energy production of the solar generator and optimize how much is being generated. This dashboard helps to analyze the difference between different stations. It serves as an aggregator to the different sensors distributed around the plant. Let's look at what other information the tool provides. There, there are more views, this time about the revenue that is generated per market per plant. We can observe the different markets, the reserve, and take action to manage the gap between market demand and energy reserves. This view is made to keep track of how Acciona's production is sold and to what markets it's sold into. To keep all, it keeps all historical data so that they can develop strategies and plans to either increase revenue or reduce costs based on supply and demand. I hope I've given you a good, good idea of how Acciona used IoT and Azure to control their assets more effectively and in real time. We'd also like to showcase more possibilities of how IoT can be applied in renewable energies. For this, for this part, I'd like to hand it over to my colleague Eduardo Matallanas. Thank you, Wendy. There are so many different ways to exploit the information and the data, and I'm going to, to show you some of them here today. Here is the first one. With the data obtained from the power plant, we can try to simulate or design new power plants closer to the ones already built. How can they be created? It is easier if we have the characteristics of the terrain and the production from the current power plant. We can try to find similar places to build a new power plant and be sure that we can have similar energy production. Apart from the information coming from the generator, maybe it could be great to have more information at some different locations inside the power plant. That is why we need to add another sensor, such as a weather station. Thus, we can identify those spots by analyzing the data and we can see where we need to put or extract that information from. Another example, it could be where do we put the cameras or infrared sensors for the security of our power plant. In that case, it is easier as you want to have the entire power plant control, but uh, analyzing the blind spots could give us the perfect locations to put all these sensors. Another information that we can track is the status of the construction of the power plant. We can see if the construction phase is deviated from the original plan 
or analyze how much materials have been used for the construction of the power plant. The idea is to have a way to control the different stages of the construction and get the plant ready in time. Thanks to cameras and sensors around the power plant, we can gather and extract different information. In this case, what we are trying to get is how uh, the operation works inside the plant and has been carried out. We can also analyze if the workforce is enough to do a maintenance job or if they have been really working on the failure. Also, we can track if any of the workers was really doing any job so we can track the status of the, oper of the operator and try to reassign them those that are idle workers to another, to another operation so the workflow can be optimized. We can also try to increase the health and security status of our workers. We can try if they carry the necessary equipment uh, with them. If not, an alarm can be set so we can advise them to put the necessary equipment or maybe not let them uh, do any operation until they have the entire equipment with them. In addition, we can also control the access to some parts of the power plant depending on the person and giving some constraints. The idea of using this type of information is to increase security and to enhance the operation inside the power plant. Continuing with the security in the power plant by tracking different workers, we can also try to put to prevent some, some situations like fall preventions. Imagine that we catch some people doing a risky operation in the plant in Hive and we can try to advise them before happening the fall. Also, once it, if this situation has happened, we can detect where the fall has been and send the, necess the necessary equipment to them so we can increase the chances of getting better. If we focus now more on the renewable generators, we can use the information gathered to predict the energy source and optimize the operation to produce the maximum possible uh, available from the resource. The idea is to use this information for a better alignment of the generator to the source so it can produce more. With that information, a strategy can be created so not only the objective of producing more can be used for the optimization, but others can be added. Thanks to know how much power each generator can produce at some point, we can detect if they are in an incorrect position to the energy source. If not, some algorithms can be used to correct and reorient the generator to obtain the maximum power. In addition, some information about weather or the information from cameras can be added so we enrich the entire strategy to optimize this energy source. Also new strategies of when to sell renewable energy are coming to the front by using storage systems. For example, if we add a storage system to our power plant, we can try to save the time when we want to sell our energy. This is related with the common situations that Wendy already told before. For example, one strategy could be when the price of electricity is high so we can obtain the maximum revenue, but sometimes there are other factors that can influence these decisions. For example, the stability of the grid, the amount of renewable energy in the mix, etc. Then we can influence in how and when can this energy be sold and uh, produce the energy related with that uh, revenue that we were talking before. Another issue that this information can help us with is its use to predictive maintenance and location of possible failures in the power plant. For example, in this slide, we have two common problems in solar and wind farms. The first one is related with hotspots. If we use cameras with IR, we can see if any problem in the production of energy can happen. On, on the other hand, we have a corrosion problem in one of the wind turbines. In this case, it is a complex to the test these kind of problems. But if we monitor the different parts of the wind turbine, we can detect if the behavior of some components change compared to the other ones in the wind farm. So all the information that uh, we are gathering helps us to detect these type of problems. 
With more detail, we can use the information that we are gathering with the cameras to analyze it and get where the problems are. As you can see, it is something complex to the human eye, but easier to the algorithms since it analyzes the information objectively. Also, some problems related with the plant life uh, can be detected as we lose power in some generators. The idea is to coordinate the operation and to clean it when we see a reduction in the production, so we can send the workers to the maintenance opera operations around the power plant. Finally, thanks to the data gather, we can have all the necessary information to track the status of the power plant. We can track the reduction of the generator, how is the, the deviation to the ideal production, identify problems that cannot be seen at the human eye, etc. All the data that we extract from the devices can be used to try to enhance the efficiency of the power plant and the revenue that we obtain if we track the status of the different elements. One more thing that I wanted to talk about is the risk the rate of having all the system connected to the internet. There are some problems to have some hacks or data leaks that we are paramount to guarantee the electricity supply. Thus is why security is another aspect to be vigilante and take special care now that all systems are connected. Thank you so much, Eduardo. So this is all. Um, we've talked a bit about the challenge in industry, the ACCIONA success story, and some practical use cases. So I really hope this was useful for you. Um, I'd like to thank James and Eduardo. I'd also like to thank you guys, the audience. But please, if you have any questions, um, there's, um, you'll see the email address on the slide. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like to have a workshop with Blink Concepts to see how we can improve um, anything in IoT in your sector. Thank you, everyone, and have a nice day. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I would like to thank you for your time today, and we were really happy to see you on our webinar. So I'm Anna Matviva, and I'm responsible for business development in Plain Concepts in uh, APEC region. So, and our biggest priority as a company is to help our customers to identify and build solutions that will help their business to succeed now and get technology and innovation advantage for future. You can address all your questions to me. So my email address and phone is in our chat. So also, if you're interested, uh, we can organize uh, so assessment sessions for your company with our technology experts and industry experts. And as a result of that session, you will get a high level assessment summary that will uh, help you to guide in your transformation journey. So, and also um, a quick announcement about our upcoming events. On 20, uh, 28th of September, we will be running a webinar about our success data stories. So we will, we will be talking about Nestlé, Hendrix Generics, and Bijou Seeds. A registration link will be available later, so at the beginning of September on our website and also on LinkedIn page. And if you need, I can send it to you directly. Just send me an email. Thank you again for your time today, and I wish you keep safe, drive your business, and get the best from the technologies. Thank you. Thank you.